You're watching the first news hour debate on Times Now Super Prime Time. Uh, supporting the victim since day one on this, and in fact, fighting a bit of a lonely battle in the subject is Indira Jai Singh. She's additional Solicitor General of India, and she's taking on Subramaniam Swami on the other side, who's made all kinds of statements. Some of them, I must say, Mr. Subramaniam Swami's statements uh, lack any uh, serious factual basis. It's simply suppositions, but we'll talk to him about that. Also joining the debate tonight is KTS Tulsi Advocate of the Supreme Court, Kavita Krishnan. National Secretary of the All India Progressive Women's Association, well-known activist, and Sanjay Hegde of the Supreme Court. Thank you very much. Uh, Subramaniam Swami, I know that you, know, you have taken a position for Justice Ganguly on this, but I find some of the statements you have made simply unbelievable, if you don't mind my saying so. You say, incidentally, the Ambani's are dead against Justice Ganguly for his 2G judgment. Anil Ambani was hit hard. I mean, that's ridiculous for you to try and link the 2G judgment with the allegation in this case. Would you like to revise the kind of comment which you made there? Why are you pushing the point so hard that you are making these incorrect remarks? What did I inc say incorrect remarks? You have tried to draw a link I, between I, I these charges and the 2G. Are, I never do. I, you, you have not, you quote me, you read out what I said. I said that there are people against uh, Ganguly. There is nothing conclusive. I would uh, like to wait for the Supreme So what has it got? Uh, what if, what have people got to do with me being against Mr. Ganguly got to do? Well, what, what has it got uh, we, to do with we, this we case? No. Uh, 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 what do you mean? What has it got to do with this case? I, I would like to know whether Mr. Uh, uh, Ganguly has been framed or not. What are you that saying? You are saying, saying Mr. Ganguly so has I've, been framed. Is not you're saying Mr. Ganguly. One second. You're, you're, you're saying Mr. Ganguly I has been framed. I didn't say Mr. Ganguly is framed. I, I didn't say Mr. Ganguly's frame. Don't put words in my mouth as you usually tend to do. I, I said that I would like to be sure that Mr. Ganguly has not been framed. I think that's, you know, I, I think that's really trying to, you know, by the way, I'm not putting any words ah, in your you mouth. I'm simply what you like. repeating. That right, is what one I, second, that is Mr. What I, Mr. I am, Swami. I am tweeting, I am tweeting to my followers and I am try, trying to put them wise to the yes, situation. Yes, you're making a comment I in the public domain. You, you, are, want. You, are, you, are, you are putting a comment so in the what? public domain. Now you don't want to backtrack on it, Mr. That's Swami. That's all right. You, you, are, you need not follow me. You need not follow me in Twitter. No. Who asked you to follow me? I'm not following you on Twitter. I have been sent your comment, which I found rather strange. Then I what do you mean Indira by saying, saying that is Twitter, Twitter, is between me and, Twitter is between me and my followers? No, on a, on a Twitter or a public platform for an eminent lawyer and politician like yourself to make this the suggestion that... It is not a public platform. I have not to make a suggestion. everybody... It's not a public platform. It's a fairly no, public don't, platform. Don't, don't try to overdraw over well, yourself. I think it's a fairly public platform. It's a fairly public platform. Read the cyber law. Uh, it's a fairly public well, platform. Fairly public from. Yes. You are trying to insinuate getting reactions. Yeah, Indra Jai, one second. Watch, one second. There is no one question second. insinuating. One you second. Are insinuating I am not Ganguly. insinuating. Even, even the girl says in her interview, you I, are. I am not insinuating. Are, after all, Mr. The girl herself, listen, the girl herself in a Wall Street interview, Wall Street Journal interview says that he has a spotless record. Now, what? You want now that, that's, that's what I call that's what I call taking you, things you out of context, Mr. Swami. Always wrong. Mr. Swami, I read out to you. Gadkari, Dr. You Swami, Srinivasan, and you got it wrong. Dr. Swami, no. Do Dr. Swami, I'm very, very sorry that you are saying things like this because I would like to read out to you what You're this girl very says. Sorry, but I'm very sorry. You're misusing your channel. I, I, am, I am, I am even more sorry than that, Mr. Swami, Dr. Swami. I'm even more sorry than that, that you do not regard what this law intern says. I will quote this and I'll get a response from Indira Jai Singh. Because I believe to just put this thing, you know, to string together this theory and to put up this trial balloon. I don't know why you say that this could be a, you know, some kind of a frame up of a Supreme Court judge. That that is I why this law intern is saying it. that the law intern I is saying, and I quote, that what she has gone through, she's been brave. I think instead of saying this girl has been very brave oh, yes, to I talk know. about the you sexual assault on her. Uh, innocent men have not been framed in the past. I am saying you today. Don't think innocent men also have been yeah, but you, you've you can't taken be absolutely sure. Indra Jai Singh and Kavita a, Krishnan. You've got a Supreme Court committee. Okay, fine. The Supreme Court committee come out with. The okay, report. fine. But I'm, it's not between you and me. I disagree with you. I have the right to disagree with you. I, but I must let the other panelists in. Indra Jai Singh, first of all. You can disagree, but your views. Put words in my mouth. I'm not putting words in your mouth. I question the words which you put on Twitter, and I want to hear your response from your mouth now. Indra Jai Singh well, will respond I will, to you. I will. Indra I will. 
I raised the question that Mr. Gangoli uh, gave are, a first class judgment on 2G. No, no, these Maybe are a lot of people are hurt. These are the, what like what question know. is this? What you 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 link 2G to what this girl is saying? You are saying this girl is being used as a pawn I'm not to fight a corporate the, battle? Now, don't, no, again, I think that's don't wrong, be absurd. sir. I never said anything about this girl. I wanted to know sir, whether this man, this sir, is, I think what that's is the wrong. truth about this incident. No, I think that's and I said, uh, let us wait for the Supreme Court. Ah, okay, judgment. responses now. It's not let between you and me. Indra Jai Singh will respond. Report. And then we'll then, then so will Kavita Krishna and Indra Jai Singh. First, please, your comments on this particular introductory comments yeah. of Dr. Subramaniam Swami. Arnav, the first thing that I want to say is that Justice Ganguly himself has not alleged a conspiracy against him. And so long as he has not alleged a conspiracy against him, I don't think anyone else has a right, That's right. to even vaguely suggest that there is a conspiracy. He has gone on record. He said, yes, she was at the hotel. He's admitted that she was at the hotel. So the scope for denying that is just out. He says, on the contrary, that she's a good friend and she's a good friend of the family. Where is the conspiracy theory over here? Where's the conspiracy? There's, There's none. No mention of it. There's none. So he doesn't mention it. No, no, if Subramaniam he Swami mention mentions it. Then it. what right? Exactly. But that's what I'm trying to tell Dr. Swami that when the individual concerned sees no conspiracy, where does he find it from? Where do you now find let it me from? Just yes, my the individual also the says it, there, no, now, this incident yeah. took place. You see, no. That's Dr. what the, uh, the, uh, the Mr. Justice Gamal says. Why do, why do you believe half of what he says? Just a minute. Just a, just a minute. Just a minute. There is a three-judge committee. They've given a report. It will be out in the public domain. Before it yes. is out in the public domain, you That's have right. no business to allege conspiracy theories. But he's now, not taking minute, it back. Arnab, one yes, more you are, what do you mean by business? I want, you have no business to allege that a rape has I taken want place to tell you, or a molestation Arnab, has taken place. Arnab, you can allege that. Uh, Arnav, may I say something, please? Uh, first of all, there's no scope for conspiracy theory. Secondly, let me say this loud and clear. No one, not the intern, not me, not anybody else, has questioned doc, uh, the judge's integrity in relation to the performance of his judicial duties. Yeah, we know. Nobody here is saying that the 2G judgment was in any way flawed. But that's okay? got nothing to do with it. So... Exactly. Because it has nothing to do with it, this conspiracy theory is nothing but a ploy, ah. it's nothing but a ploy to support him in, in the case of sexual First harassment. First of all, I have not made any conspiracy theories. I have not gone on public record to say make any public... You have said it on Twitter and I have picked it up from there. Let us wait for that. You have said it on Twitter. Don't push me into the... Into a, 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 yeah, yeah, I've seen you, what you did with Mr. Gadkari and Mr. Srinivasan. And then you had to hit a humble pie. What do you mean humble you pie? I'm doing my job, Mr. Srinivasan. I, 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 I have done my job. I said I do my job, Mr. Swami. I never said there was a conspiracy. I never said there was a conspiracy. Well, no. You are putting words in my mouth and you are trying to make out a thing. Well, there is... I only said... That we've got to be sure that he's not being slandered. What do you mean? No, no, you use the word frame, <laughs> Dr. Swami. You use the word, I heard you use the word frame. Exactly. I frame up means what? Frame up like means sure what, Dr. Swami? Not being framed. Frame up means what, Dr. Swami? That, that uh, incident, I, I will tell you what frame up means. Tell me. An incident which did not take place, you are trying to make out that. No, frame up implies place. conspiracy. Frame up insp I I I implies conspiracy. Frame up. Of course. Conspiracy like by sure whom? There was no conspiracy. Conspiracy by whom? I know. By the victim? Well, there are a lot of people. There are a lot of people. We don't know. Which people? They're all interlinking on the What is the... Wh one minute. The, the only I don't person... Know. I don't know. I the can only make, person... I can the this. only person in this case, Dr. Swami, is the, is the victim. The only person is the victim. The victim may be there. But the question is that the Mr. Ja, Mr. Ja no, said that... There what was do you mean victim may be there? The victim, so the, the the victim comes out and says I was sexually assaulted. Truth? The victim comes out and says I was sexually assaulted. Yes, and the judge says no such thing happened. So, who, so, so are you saying no the victim is part of a conspiracy like is being used as a pawn? 
I didn't say wisdom is part of conspiracy. I said when the judge is denied it, I'd like to be sure. One what second. What has really happened? What, Indira Jai Singh in says to you. Indira just. Indira. I never in, said there was a conspiracy. Indira Jai Singh says to you. Indira Jai Singh. No, we've got a lot to debate today. Indira Jai Singh says to you that Justice Ganguly is not even suggesting frame up or conspiracy. But how can you? May not be Justice Ganguly, but he did say that. He, he didn't say that this incident didn't take place. I get Kavita Krishnan in as the third place. voice on Why this debate tonight. Knowledge? No, one second. No, we see we have other things to debate on whether Justice Ganguly should resign or not on moral grounds, etc., etc. Before I go to that, Kavita Krishnan, your take on Subramaniam Swami's argument so far on this. No, uh, I don't even want to really dignify uh, Mr. Swami's, uh, you know, Dr. Swami's argument because, you know, uh, he tends to ba base uh, who he defends in sexual assault cases based on his political convenience and so on. Ah. So, Asaram can be defended uh, and, uh, you know, now Justice Ganguly can be defended. So, I really don't yeah, uh, okay, take, okay. The, that, take that kind of approach very seriously at all. I feel that uh, Justice Ganguly, undoubtedly, if you ask me, as a judge, his judgments have been, uh, his his record on not only in his judicial role but in his role as a human rights uh, chairperson and all have been beyond question it's been very good but does that mean that I because I find him to be a good human rights chairperson in West Bengal who has uh, you know pulled up the West Bengal government on many things does that mean that I will assume that this woman's complaint is uh, you know this woman is a Mamta Banerjee pawn I don't think so yeah I don't think that that should be the approach we cannot approach such questions with a political lens this woman's complaint, let's understand what, it, what, what is the nature of it. We, of course, don't know the details. But what she has put on record is that she has uh, experienced a long period of trying to come to terms with what happened to her. Yeah. She has not sought a vendetta. She has even been very reluctant to name him. She has herself said, I respect his work so much. I find his record to be spotless. But I also, uh, you know, uh, partly because I have a concern for his reputation and partly because I wonder who will believe me. Uh, I have found it very difficult to come forward and file a complaint and so on and so forth. This is what many women go through in such circumstances. And, uh, you know, it explains very, very credibly the delay and so on of, of, of some months. And essentially, to, to, uh, there is nothing in her statement per se to assume that this is a vendetta or this is some kind of political game or conspiracy or anything like that. That said, I would like to say that, look, I think we expect in this, uh, you know, certain standards to be set of the response. I'm not declaring him guilty already. I'm saying we have to set certain standards of response because let's be very clear that this case is being watched very carefully. Of course. What happens in this case will have bearings on every woman complainant in any sphere in future, not just against judges, but against anybody. So in, the, in such a case, I feel that if we expect, I would say that if a politician uh, is expected to resign, if there is a serious and reasonably credible prima facie case allegation against him uh, would we not say that he should resign he can also claim that oh it's a rival who's trying to frame me a professor who is uh, accused of you know Soli Sorabji asks about do you vice chancellor I'm saying yes if a vice chancellor is accused he can also claim he can go around saying that a student got bad grades or something no no so but what if against me what if but is that a ground what, to say I think the what, standard what if, has what to if, be what if the if person is, is accused pending inquiry what, what, what if the person is cleared later up, pending no, inquiry just, somebody uh, has to step down no no what, what, what well, let's get KTS Tulsi in on this uh, Sanjay Agne also wanted to come in we'll hear both points of view I want to just say at this stage Consider the allegations made by this law intern against Justice Ganguly. She says she was sexually assaulted. Quote, not physically injurious, KTS Tulsi, but nevertheless violating from a man old enough to be my grandfather. Old enough to be my grandfather. Now, I think you will also have to consider that it is her word against the judges. And this girl has probably shown a lot of courage being a law student herself by publishing her account. Yes. You know, there are, there are two values of the Constitution which are called the highest values of the Constitution and these are under Articles 20 and 21. The first is that a person who is accused of having committed a crime is presumed to be innocent till proven guilty. We are re reversing the presumption of innocence and presuming him to be guilty merely because an allegation has been made. The second value is a very precious value that the person accused of an offence has a right of silence. You cannot force him to speak up and talk about the conspiracy theory, 
you can't force him, even the police can't force him to make any statement, answer a question which is self-incriminating. Now these are the, the, for centuries we have evolved these principles and now we become part of the lynch mob. Lynch and mob? Say, now okay. you are guilty and resign. Who's the lynch mob this here? This is not how, this is not the, how. The, the respected, the respected, the respected no, no, opinion I, of the additional solicitor general, even if. Not at all, Arna. You know, even if you say. Even if you very often want to say that you are not in the media, are you a part of the lynch mob? But do you mean to say Indira Jai Singh is part of the lynch mob? Simply because she has a point of view or Kavita no, no, Krishnan is? Indira Jai Singh saying that... that it, Arna? No, no. Indira Jai Singh like has said that, that why... The judge hasn't spoken about the conspiracy theory. Yes. Why should the judge be made to speak at this time? That she, means she, that if he doesn't speak, therefore he's guilty. Yeah, no, this she's not, not making that assumption. We, we are no, going to reverse the values of the constitution. No, she's not making that assumption. Katie has Yes, Ms. Jai Singh. I would like to respond. Please Can do. Respond, please? please do. Yeah. I think uh, Mr. Tulsi needs to understand that no FIR has been registered till date. Yes. Uh, as he says, the yeah. presumption of innocence is available to an accused. At the present moment, uh, the judge is not an accused person. The question of presumption doesn't come into the picture at all. Secondly, we are talking here about mm -hmm. a person who's occupying a position of trust. The office of a judge the Office of Chairperson of the Human Rights Commission, no one holds that office as of right. They hold it only on the condition of good behavior. The moment their behavior is called into question, even if it's just on the basis of a suspicion, they are required to step down in the interest of the institution. We are not talking here about the interest of Justice Ganguly. We are talking here about the institutional morality of institutions like the West Bengal Human Rights Commission and indeed of the Supreme Court itself. So we need to be very clear who we are referring to. We are referring to a judge and a judge holds office on trust. Okay, so yes sir, yes sir. There's the slightest what, suspicion. What can I be heard? The rule of presumption of innocence does not apply to a judge who I holds get your point. an office of trust. No, I get your point. And, and, to, and to reiterate that, just one addition before I go to Sanjay After Hegde. accusing you say doesn't apply. No, no, no. KTS Tulsi. It's a quasi-judicial position, the body he holds. There's no FIR. Ar Aruna, Aruna, please make it clear what? to him. No FIR if, has been filed uh, Aruna, we are, we are treading such dangerous ground. We are laying down precedents that even before an FIR is lodged, you must resign. For eight months, the girl doesn't. No, I don't think so. No, 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 no. One right. minute. One uh, minute. No, uh, you are wrong. What kind of, uh, what kind of jurisprudence we, no, are, no, what, okay. we are reversing all. No, we, we are reversing are, the entire we, criminal we, jurisprudence. We, 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 are, and not. we are creating dangerous. No, precedent. no, we are not. We are, we are saying that yes, one particular up. individual, Sanjay Hegde, I'm coming to you next. There is a Supreme Court committee which is looking into the allegations against Sri uh, Justice Ganguly. He's not stepped down, and but we are you not know. willing to wait for the report. No, no, but you know we that. We are not willing for the Of course, we wait for the. Of, we are of, not willing to wait of, for the report. Of course we are, but you see, he can only be removed by a process initiated by the President of India under Section 23 of the Protection of Human so Rights Act of 1993. Also. I yes. don't want to preempt we, that. We want to preempt the report. We I am not preempting that, but you know that the process of no. removal, the technical process of removal is wrong and requires the Supreme Court to hold an inquiry. So Justice Ganguly is already, we therefore it can be argued the beneficiary. He is the beneficiary we, of a long rope and hence the onus is on him. On how we he wants to react to it. Illegal pressure on him. Illegal pressure. Okay, you are saying Indira Jai Singh puts illegal pressure. The, okay, one second. It's a Sanjay Agde. Yes. You, illegal Arnab, pressure on your There is a very important mind. principle this, 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 here. Arnab, I, I, Arnab if, I may, if I may butt in, there's one more important principle here. And the important principle here is that even a judge is entitled to justice, even a judge is entitled to due process. Please look at yeah. the kind of precedent that uh, we, would be set if Justice Ganguly at this stage of an accusation were to step down. That would then set a precedent that the next judge who gives an inconvenient judgment or any kind of finding, he can very <laughs> easily be made to step down the okay. next day by having somebody file a uh, complaint or an accusation. 
that would be very dangerous. No. Therefore, Justice Ganguly is right, at least in this, by saying Sanjay Hegde, the time has not come. Sanjay Hegde, Justice, like you. Justice Ganguly may decide you, to you the contrary. Like, Just a minute. No, no, you like so all Justice of us. Ganguly may decide to the contrary after the committee submits his report. Uh, but okay. today is not the stage. Indra Jai Singh, rebutting you. Today and is after, not the yeah. stage. Indra Jai Singh, rebutting yeah. you. Yes. Yeah. Look. Uh, look at the responsible way in which the intern has behaved. She did not put his name in the public domain. Oh, yes. Secondly, when called upon to depose before the committee, she deposed. Thirdly, when asked to produce her witnesses, she produced them. Fourthly, it was the Supreme Court of India that made his name public. How much more responsible do you expect an intern to be? Now, please take it from me. If the Supreme Court of India chooses to make his name public, they have to have good reason to do so. If they had come to the conclusion the that there was good no merit was in the complaint, please tell me. Please tell me. The names of the other judges. There was me. suspicion about why? the other judges. Why would they make that the name public? What suspicion of the other judges? Public. What, what do you mean by suspicion Why of the other judges? The what about the suspicion which, because with respect... the blog was ambiguous. No, no, she no, 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 what, 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 Supreme Court what, judge. what about, was not what, what about, and I think, I think the time the has come to be direct tonight. Incident. No, one second, At Mr. Hegde. Four other judges of no, Mr. very Hegde. high character were maligned Miss, during this entire process. Mr. Hegde. Absolutely necessary Mr. Hegde. Mr. Hegde, one minute. Let me say this. That yeah. character, prestige, honor, and integrity are not the sole prerogative or the sole right or preserve of only judges or only politicians or only those holding right office. Let me say this, that character and integrity and high principles and resolve are equally, equally perhaps the right or the preserve of the young people of this country. And I feel, therefore, if you are talking of double standards, I, let, me ask, let me ask, let me ask KTS Tulsi tonight. And this lady, KTS they, Tulsi, the intern K has shown the highest of character. No. By writing about it, KTS by deliberately Tulsi. not K naming the KTS judge, Tulsi. and having come and assisted the Supreme Court committee no, no. in its investigation. One second. One second. I have nothing second. against her. One second. KTS, but, KTS Tulsi, I have a question please, for you. Please note this. KTS Tulsi, and I will, KTS yes. Tulsi, please. Now, please tell me this, really. And Kavita Krishnan yes. will respond to you. You tell me clearly. Have you or have you not? Have you or have you not attempted to question the motives and raise suspicion about this brave young girl? No. Who has, who, no, let me complete. Who no, has come, who, no, you have not even heard my question. How okay. can you deny it? Who has come out? Have you said or not? Okay, I'm that sorry. have you said or not that though you need to resp report these kind of cases in 24 hours and if you take time beyond 24 hours or a few yes, weeks that therefore it raises questions about your motives yes. have you said something to this effect no 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 i say that the law laid down even in 2013 in the case of kanaiya lal is that the delay in lodging the fir even by 60 minutes 60 hours detracts from the reliability of the acquisition. Now, this, is, this, is, this has been the age-old principle. What? This is, principle has evolved over centuries. We can't just oh, reverse we, 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 a judge we, we, is we, in the talk. Oh, you okay. see, the judge is also entitled, a judge is also entitled to the same protections which are afforded no, by the say Constitution that, to every you, other citizen. Oh, why, so rest, why are we denying uh, him the right of a fair trial? Why, why, we, why we, are we, you throwing we indignity? The conclusion and then, why are you throwing indignity in the path of this victim by saying that because she didn't report in the first 60 minutes? You expect I KTS... Because the law provides because for that's it. The law. Even what the law? That's the law. Uh, no, no. Says that you that's must the law. Delay in lodging an FIR detracts from the reliability of the You do not your complaint within three months. You must explain why. You believe you believe that's, be the, the, that's okay, the law. Okay, so can I ask you something? Asked by the government. Of can I? Can I? You you you, you believe? Been an advisor. You, you believe in Justice Varma? I am sure that at least both of you who are jumping on me tonight, KTS Tulsi and Mr. Sanjay Hegde, will have like me, and I've had the good fortune of interacting with a great man, like many of yeah. you have. I'm sure you will not disagree yes, with Justice Varma. I've had, I've so, you, you, you do. So then let me quote what Justice Varma said. Interesting context. And by the way, I see Kavita Krishnan and KTS uh, and, and Indira Jaising both completely disagree. 
disagree with your definition of when a woman goes a little late, then you'd question her motives. Many other women will tonight, but let me read out. Okay, you want to respond to that first? Go ahead. No, Kavita Krishna is responding to you. What's it? Kavita Krishna. I just want to. I want to put two things briefly here on the table. Yeah. Of course, delay has to be explained uh, properly, but I think that even if you read. Uh, you know, if you have to understand what the nature of any kind of delay in such matters is. Okay, even in the bail uh, order that has, uh, you know, uh, uh, on Tejpal's uh, bail petition, there is a mention of how delay should be viewed in such matters. Okay, and I think that seeing from the point of view of the complainant, she has spoken so honestly about the dilemmas that she has faced, and about, you know, as a, as somebody in the profession of law, a student. All right, to imagine that she will imperil her future career. Uh, now she is working for an NGO. Now she feels I am not in that profession. I don't have to interact necessarily. My career may not depend on this or that judge. I f I now feel I can maybe start talking about it. Yeah. When you are somebody in the same profession, it is very difficult, especially given the fact that there's so much built-in impunity there for judges. There was no Vishaka committee. Even the Vishaka committee now keeps judges outside its ambit. How are people? How are women uh, who face this? May for I, a minute, for uh, a minute, you, assume that. Are you what in if, any what way? If, what if what she's saying is? Are you in any way? I want a disclosure. I want a disclosure. Are you in any way, KTS Tulsi, involved in the Tejpal defense? Yes. Are you, Mr. Who's Tulsi, involved in the Tejpal defense? I want a disclosure. I, appear, I appeared as a lawyer for Tejpal. Yes. So, so you use that argument for Tejpal and using disclosure? the same argument Arnab, in the context of Ganguly? Arnab, Tejpal is a different case. I am only Arnab, asking Ganguly for disclosure. Is a different I was his lawyer. So I, what? I, different. I, it's all right. I'm not, no, I'm not alleging anything. I am not alleging. I'm asking. You are saying I don't have a right to ask? I am asking Mr. Tulsi. No, 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 but what is this disclosure? I am asking I'm you not whether, from Mr. whether you have used a similar argument in the Tejpal case. What's wrong with the question? I have used this argument in many cases. Ah, that's what I'm, I'm asking you. How so, does you, that matter? No, no, but and I'm not drawing a link. Me the most? I'm not drawing what a link. What no, no, me I'm, the most? I'm not drawing a link. I'm, I'm only asking you a question. No, I'd like to make a uh, finish. Anyway, you are, ask, uh, you are asking point. a loaded question. Doesn't matter. I, of course, it's a public uh, knowledge so, that I was I appeared for him so, as a, law, so, as a so lawyer in the high court. You're, you're saying therefore. The question really is what what disturbs me. No, no, you're saying what therefore. disturbs me most about this statement of this intern is that she says three, four other girls have also told me. Yeah. And four girls have told me about four other judges. Yeah, she why? has put the entire Supreme Court in the dock. No, no, one this second. This is a very, in a very no, light are you, are you manner. trying to say, second, are you, second, are you picking how, up Kajuts on behalf of the entire Supreme no, no, can Court? can I say, so? you're putting her in the dock. You're trying to put her in the dock. Uh, Mr. No, no, Tulsi I am saying that this kind this of a statement, in the dock by saying, a hearsay, by, by saying a hearsay the fact included, it shows that lack women do face sexual harassment no, you're it shows lack of responsibility, utter lack of responsibility. No, you know, in every workplace this happens, why should the judiciary be any very different? It's very likely but that it does happen. For her to even say this, you are raising an accusing finger at her. No wonder she is delayed. No wonder no. she is delayed at Mr. Tulsi because she fears coming up face to face with somebody uh, like somebody against so you. She, uh, but I do no want to finish my point. No wonder she allowed herself point. to be used by others. With the difference that is being made with the Tejpal case. She I want could to have allowed there for See, the impression which the public is getting is that where there is no CCTV footage and no apology, written apology, sexual harassment complaints are, you know, uh, they, they are bound to uh, res result in uh, no convictions. That is not the case. Uh, there are several judgments to say very clearly that corroboration is not necessarily required if the uh, statement given by the complainant is largely holding together, largely credible. Uh, minor discrepancies will not be and taken into account. And Arna, as long as her Arna, statement and let, even her delay... Let's get one thing clear. The girl has not yet filed a complaint. Oh, please don't she look at it. She is free to file an FIR at any point of time. Nobody has held that's her back. That's a technicality. She that's, that's not a technicality. a technicality. That's a technicality. She can choose to press charges or not to press that's charges. That's a technicality. If she makes a feminist choice not to press charges, then all That's of us fine. should respect I will it. Respect what do you mean feminist choice? No, no, just, just what do you mean feminist no, choice? What's feminist no, no. about such a choice? Just let me quote Choose your words carefully. I want, choice. I want to going... ask of you one thing alone. When dealing with sexual violence, can we allow ourselves to embrace feelings beyond or besides yes. anger? Yes, yes. And to Absolutely. accept the complexity of emotions that Absolutely. we face when we deal with any traumatic Let Kavita respond to you. The way I read this blog is that she thinks 
that it is not necessary fine. in each case to file an fine, FIR. Fine. Not I'm to take, a not to escalate here. every case of I'm harassment not asking for it into to be a criminal complaint. But I'm saying that here. So there therefore, is, please respect her I choice. Respect if you're that is what I'm saying. Uh, can I get in here? Yeah, go if ahead. Mr. Uh, if uh, if was Mr. Hagade is Hagade. saying respect her choice, I'm saying also respect her words then. And then we the people, one is not asking for her, one is not demanding that she must go out and file an FIR, nothing like that. But I'm saying it's a matter of a proprietorial post. You cannot be a human rights chairperson, human rights commission chairperson, if you are believing that her words, if her choice, yeah. if her words about her choice are believable, then her complaint is also believable and credible. Well, in the case respect of in the case well. of the victim of respect that, then in we the, the case people of, cannot allow in the, in the case. So allow me one minute in the case person in, in one and, uh, you know uh, one uh, this, this would be question an absolute is, insult qu qu to women's rights question to the viewers tonight is just one 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 factual point and one one assertion after that factual point at this stage is that in the case of tarun tejpal's victim she too had not alleged rape arun jetli wrote rape kavita krishnan said rape they said the new law post uh, the nirbhaya case it constitute it constitutes rape similarly mr hegre and kts tulsi you should know that if she is alleging sexual Even assault she is claiming in her blog, allow me to innocent. complete, it may fall within the, the purview. The law does not apply to an it, event it, of it, December 2012. It, it may the fall. The law comes in after March it, 2013. Da, 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 oh, please don't point. use dates as Secondly, your argument. She says nothing physical. You, you hide happened. behind you dates can, in your argument. She's not saying nothing there physical can be, happened. There she's can she's not saying nothing happened. happened. There can be and sexual harassment without even physicality. Fine, but sexual there are harassment is something. Even that, There are various levels. So one man's friendly gesture can no, be no, 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 I think you're wrong there. No, 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 Mr. Hegde, Mr. Hegde, Mr. Hegde, Mr. Hegde, you are wrong. That relates to how the complaints are subjective perception. No, no, one sec, one sec. Absolutely clear, both of the Justice Burma Commission and in the Visha Khan guidelines. No, no, one sec, one sec, first of all, first of all, women of this country are smart enough to know the difference between a friendly gesture and something that is sexually offensive or sexual assault. And by the way, Mr. Egre, go back and read Section 354A of the Indian Penal Code. You know, you, it, the whole definition of all the acts or behavior that constitute this particular charge will be clear to you. I have another question. Yes, I'll... Mr. Goswami. Yes, Mr. Egre. After March Fine. 2013. Fine. This I... is an incident of December ah, 2012. Ah, Mr. Egre, now you are. Where you had the old unamended 354. So I you will now hide behind dates. That legally, uh, no. you would not, if you were to book a case now, you would not book him under this new law. Agreed, obviously, because the incident is earlier. But that is, uh, that is, a, uh, that is a legal point. My point is that the offense doesn't Indra change. Jaising, the offense and how it is viewed Indra Jaising yes. coming back and to the debate. Please give me an opportunity. From Delhi, Indra Jaising comes back to the debate. Indra Jaising, please. Yes, please. Indra Jaising comes back to the debate. Arnab. Yes, Arnab. Uh, let me tell you, and in particular, let me tell Mr. Hegde that the law as it existed when this incident took place Section 354 of the Indian Penal Code, outraging the modesty of a woman, applies with full force to Justice Ganguly. The punishment is three years. The period of limitation is three years. It is a cognizable offense, okay? So he cannot teach us what the new law is. We don't, really don't want to know about what the new law is under the old. To Mr. Tulsi, I have this to say. Nobody knows section 354 better than he does for the simple reason that he defended KPS Gill against Rupan Dale Bajaj and Rupan Dale Bajaj brought charges under 354 of the Indian Penal Code and Mr. KPS Tulsi was convicted ah. right up to the Supreme Court of India. Now please hear me out Arnab. He'll respond I to want to that. tell you that Mr. Tulsi, please, please Arnab hear me. I want to tell you that in that case, Mr. KTS Tulsi, in a reported judgment, advanced the argument that the injury caused to the woman was so slight that no reasonable person would complain of it. And as you know, in that case, it was a slap on her bottom. This argument was rejected by the Supreme Court of India. So this is another tactic, okay? You're complaining. What are you complaining about? In that case, Rupandil Bajaj complained that he slapped her on her backside. In this case, we are told he it was me. a friendly gesture. He put his arm around her. Whatever he did, I don't know. 
the report will reveal. But it's this attempt at trivializing, which I think needs to be condemned loudly and clearly if we want the women of our country to be respected. You think you, if you're, we want women to work in safe workplaces. So you are saying that Mr. Tulsi is trivialized, right? And you are saying that Mr. Tulsi has taken a similar position yes. while defending Rupan Deol versus KPS Gill yes. in the previous case. Ru I have, I have not, taken I no not, such position in the present case be you, you, because we are all groping in the dark. Who's groping we in the dark? We are not willing to wait for an FIR. No, we no, are no, not willing second. to wait for the report. As, as she are, said anything wrong? We are just wanting to put pressure. Has she said anything wrong? Has she said anything no, factually no. incorrect? In no, the no, no. If she has, tell her. If she has, tell her. The word, the word used in no, the complaint as as against concerned. Mr. K.P. Gill was, he has even as hit far me. As, she is concerned, as the question she has really was, used the that, that, that allegation assault. did not have any sexual now, content. Whether she means it in a legalistic sense, that there was actual use of no, no, criminal force, deal. or whether she means it in the sense of inappropriate touch, inappropriate conversation, we do not know the facts. We have to await the result of this inquiry committee, which I have no doubt will soon be uh, sure. public knowledge. I totally the agree with you. The matter is coming up in the why, Supreme why, why Court on wait? Friday. And uh, we should await sure. what the Chief Justice of India does in that. We Sh must trust the institution, if why, not why? the individual. Now, so there, uh, we, therefore, we, 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 Mr. Hegde, Mr. Hegde, in, in February 2011, it, and the Chief Justice of India to come at a correct decision. Mr. Hegde, one minute, please. You know, I am. I first say this to you. Utmost regard for the Supreme Court of the country and the panel, which we are absolutely sure will ensure that with the facts at its disposal, the victim does not feel either aggrieved or painted into a corner, right? Or be made to feel like she did a wrong thing. That, that we have complete faith that the Supreme Court of India, especially the panel, will ensure justice. I want to ask... You, Mr. Hegde, since you're being the most aggressive tonight on the other side. I, I, you know, this is what Justice Varma said with regards to corruption allegations against Justice K.G. Balakrishnan Skin, who were accused by the Income Tax Department of possessing black money. He claimed Balakrishnan should quit as chairman of the National Human Rights Commission. I don't think you would say that the chairmanship of the West Bengal Human Rights Commission is in any way a position which is lesser or greater than that of the National Human Rights Commission. And this is what, this is what Justice Varma said. He says, he sh With great respect to the departed soul of Justice you will not, Varma. You will not hear me? I would disagree. I no, would you, respectfully you, you disagree. What did he say? Because... What did he say? There, 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 what did there, he say? There are dangers... We, uh, what did which, he say? Which are much more, uh, uh, you, which, which no, are much graver. Mr. Hegde, you make Mr. Hegde, the, Mr. Hegde listen, understand the, the, this. The, the, the law Mr. is Mr. this. Mr. Hegde, the, 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 Mr. Hegde a certain, a certain phrase. A politician is asked to resign when a court frames a, charges a, a against certain, him. When a, it finds prima facie material. A certain phrase. Gives judges no, but, or give people in tribunals the same kind a of certain, protection. No, a certain, somebody may make, I, I, somebody first may of make all, an allegation. First of all, Mr. Hegde, first of all, Mr. Hegde, you did not wait. You did not, not wait to, you did not wait to allow me to read out what Justice Varma said, which I believe, despite your unbridled enthusiasm, is an incorrect thing to do. However, I would go ahead and read it. I would only like to say one thing most humbly, that the phrase illegal argument or illegal defense was a phrase which was used, I think, with, by KTS Tulsi. I don't think there is any Ill anything illegal in uh, making the case like Kavita Krishnan says to get that the case illegal is that of propriety pressure. and morality. There's no illegality. I said illegal pressure. Illegal pressure is the word. So Justice no, Varma was illegal using illegal pressure. pressure. Being unconstitutional pressure being brought on was the, was the respected late it's Justice... It's unconstitutional was pressure, the, was, the respected, was the respected, very respected late Justice J.S. Varma, whose judgments will go into the history of the Supreme Court as one of the greatest men of integrity that the court has seen. Was he also using illegal pressure? When he said the following, don't stop me, he said... You see, it's like this. Corruption is the most egregious form of human rights violation. And a person accused of serious human rights violation heading the National Human Rights Commission itself is a great travesty of justice. Was that illegal pressure being put by Justice Verma? Is what Indira Jai Singh is saying illegal? Is what Kavita Krishna is asking illegal and immoral? Have we come down to a point where we cannot express our points of view? Is that what argument is this tonight? Please give us also the, please give us also the same like him to break Justice his Varma is entitled to his, yeah, uh, his drawing the line. We draw the line at what we think is a safer 
line to be drawn. Okay, okay. five minutes on the debate. Indira Jaising is responding to you. Please give everybody due process, yeah. no matter what Arna? the allegation. Point is taken. I take your point. Indira Jaising. Arna, yeah. Arnab, I want to tell you that the judiciary does not need defenders like the two you have on your panel today. Uh, the judiciary is in a position to defend itself. And the judiciary has taken the right step by appointing a committee of three judges to look into the allegations. Yeah. It appears that the judges are taking these allegations more seriously than the two members of your panel are. So I would strongly recommend to them to leave the judiciary alone to defend itself. They don't need uh, this kind of defense, okay? And what I do want to tell you is that we have a huge moral issue here. This is an institution, the Supreme Court of India, charged with the duty of protecting the rights of citizens. And if an allegation is made that those very citizens' own rights are being violated in what I would call the sanctum sanctorum of justice, I'm sorry, the standard is they must resign, they must clear their name if they have a name to clear, and then they can reclaim the office that they wish to be in. But so long as there is even the slightest suspicion against them, they must step down. And let me tell you, if he steps down, the nation will salute him for having done the right ah, thing. Mr. M M M I I M Mr. KTS Tulsi is still disagreeing with you. Questions will also and be raised about whether the institutional integrity of the commission, like which he holds, point, will yeah. also be compromised. Uh, you, Kavita Krishnan, you want to make your point? Okay, all, do I, KTS Tulsi, with your, with your permission, I let Kavita Krishnan respond, then I come back to you, so you can respond to both of them together. Yes, no. Kavita Krishnan. It's just a very brief uh, uh, intervention that I want to make about, uh, not just about, you know, I think uh, I've said what I want to say about uh, the question of his stepping down, and I do stand by the fact that he should step down. I agree with all uh, Ms. Jai Singh's arguments. I want to say something here that what about any complainant in future? Imagine this woman's situation. Where are the safe places where such complaints can be made? All right. The Vishakha guidelines were passed in 1997. The Supreme Court has been insulated from them till now. Even now the judges are out of its ambit. I would like to raise a question here. And you're having odious things being said like women interns, uh, you know, will not be, uh, you know, uh, will not be hired anymore, will not be taken on board anymore, etc. I think the question here is uh, for me also that the law schools, you know, this woman was a student. I think, uh, you know, I would like to know, don't the law schools have uh, com uh, Vishaka committees, Vishak uh, functioning Vishaka committees, which could, had they been in place in the NUJS probably, they could have uh, been a place where she could have taken she her says complaint and which could have actually looked into this matter back then. And uh, similarly, the Supreme Court's present committee also, I think it can't continue to provide impunity to judges. It's just, just not acceptable. If you believe but where the is it? It's is not providing. genuinely functioning, impartial no, but it's committee, not providing. judges have no, to Kavita, be in the ambit. Kavita, future, Kavita, it's cases. not providing any immunity to the judges. In fact, I think it's looking at it fairly quickly and in a fairly uh, you it know, is. detailed manner. It is. The present Vishaka committee is. The present Vishaka committee. Right. The Supreme Court has just appointed a Vishaka committee. Uh, Ms. Jai Singh will correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that it has kept judges out of its ambit. That's what I understand. Is that right? Why? The rules. They have. Why? Why? Because impunity. Uh, you're you're no asking me? Do you agree with that? I disagree. I disagree. Really? And I think, Arnab, let me make, let me tell you something here. Arnab, you need to know that this may not be an isolated case. And therefore the question is, what Will systems anyone are there in place? To say anything? No, no, you can respond after Indra Jaising. You're sure you will, Mr. Tunsi. I'll give you equal time to respond <coughs> to her. Yes. <laughs> Arnab, this is not an isolated case. It may not be an isolated case. And the issue is, is there a system in place where people can take complaints they may have against judges? To whom? Where do we go with these complaints? It's a question which begs an answer. If we need to amend the constitution, let's do it. If we need to put new laws in place, let's do it. Kavita has raised the right question and it's a question without an answer. Last response to the last word tonight. To KTS Tulsi, who was smiling there as you were replying, KTS Tulsi. <coughs> you know, um, Arnab, I have great amount of personal regard for Indira Jaising, 
but it's just that this, on this issue we are pulled apart on the and I very seriously believe that the solution that she is suggest, suggesting that even before the FIR, even before the committee report, the, the Justice Ganguly, who has already been acquired, accused of a criminal offence, should step down. I say that we are going to, if, if this happens, we are going to lead to complete breakdown of the criminal justice system. We, we, we are going to begin with the presumption of guilt. We are going to compel people to speak up even when they have the constitutional right of silence. And this has consequences. Stepping down after you have been accused is, is only an admission of guilt. And that's not an I option think, for anybody. I think it we is should important. understand, we can't just is, say that nation yes, will salute. I think one nation solution, may salute, but you will be in jail. One solution is complete transparency of what the girl actually said before the particular committee, the details of what she alleged, and also the details of what she deposed before the judges, along with their points of view. If all of this is put out in yes, the public domain, that transparency public. will not hurt anyone. Thank you, ladies and it gentlemen. Should. We await the verdict. Thank you for joining me on debate number one on the news hour tonight.